to an elimination game against Minnesota. And yes, indeed, Big Ten after dark. The Gophers are ready in this house. We respect Big Ten after dark. After all, they are the defending Big Ten tourney champs. Top of the third, no score. No more. Eli Wilson rips a single to center. Ben Mazinga comes in to score. It's 1-0 Gophers. To the top of the fifth, same score. I was at the plate. Jack, or in the field, I should say. Jack Wassell strikes out. Cole McDevitt is caught stealing before Jordan Kozicki scores. It's your standard 2-6-3 double play. Well, and you're trying to manufacture a run here. I mean, both ball clubs playing it so close, only 1-0 at the time. Bottom seven, same score. Mitchell Bow strikes out. Minnesota gets out of a jam. Top of the ninth now. Gophers looking for some insurance runs, but there's two outs. Kozicki single up the middle. Easton Bertrand's going to come in and score. Kozicki's off to second. It's 2 nothing. Next batter, Eli Wilson ready to do even more damage. Yeah, Kozicki leading the team in RBIs, but great job getting to second base because it didn't need to be a double. Single would have scored him, but a great swing again by Eli brought him home. So that makes it 3 nothing Minnesota. And we started to think, man, they really need those runs because bottom of the ninth with one out, Iowa's threatening with two on, and this happens. Ball is tipped by the pitcher and a crazy play from Jordan Kozicki. Yeah, you did everything right here. What you want to do when you're fielding and you're charging is catch it off your glove foot, land on your throwing foot, one motion, he did it perfectly and a strike to first base. Then a full count, two outs, bottom nine, ball game. They called the outside part of the plate, strike three. Minnesota wins, they survive. Three nothing the final, hot hitting Eli Wilson. Talk to Scott Pose afterwards. <laughs> Eli, let's talk defense first. You're the one that throws down the fingers. You call the game. Tell me how that works and the rapport you had tonight with your pitchers to author the shutout. Yeah, I mean, it's just a constant conversation between Ty, myself, and the pitchers, and uh, Cully and Duffy, and then Brett at the end there did a phenomenal job executing pitches. Uh, we always knew that that sophomore class of pitchers were going to be special, and those two guys proved it today, and then Brett, of course, slamming the door like he's done all year. It's been awesome. Well, now, we've talked to each other over the past couple of days about your offensive performance. It continues tonight. You go deep the other day, and now you come up big with some hits. What's it feel like at the plate, and what's it mean to your team? Yeah, I mean, it's huge for our team, obviously. Um, it was a close game tonight, so any run you can get helps. Uh, but just trying to hit balls hard. Um, you know, Kazuki's been really hot in front of me, so just uh, putting good swings on balls, trying to drive guys in, and that's big for our team. Well, now, how big is this? You carry this, you're in the elimination bracket, you got a quick turnaround, but you're back in it tomorrow. What's it mean to this team, and what's the mindset? Yeah, I mean, it means a lot to us. Um, we want to compete. We love to play baseball. At 14 set at best, you know, it's not going to define us what happens tomorrow uh, or the next day, right? The scoreboard doesn't define us. We're just playing ball, and uh, we're excited just to have a chance to compete. Well, congratulations on the win. Good luck the rest of the way. All right, thank you.